I've there actually been selling patriotic. nudes, sending free nudes for people who send their vax card. Right. What? Wait a no, minute, give me a second here, because shorty gotta be on the payroll for the Biden administration. Because I'm not understanding why you would exchange nudes for proof of vaccination. First and foremost, they was paying people for taking the vaccine before. Now all of a sudden you got this harlot out here, busting it wide open, as long as you took the two dose in your left or right arm, you've got to be kidding me. I want to do the world a service. Like, uh, get vaccinated. I'll send you me naked for free. It's really get me out of this average harlot now has clout on OnlyFans, social media famed Genjutsu. Because I'm not understanding how the hell you can have this high level of confidence and say something so goddamn stupid. Get vaxxed and you'll see my waxed pussy. Who gives a fuck? Oh wow, hey, she sent me news, man. All right. What does that do for me? What do you provide to society? What do you contribute? Get vaxxed for and sure. you'll see my like, wax pussy. What's the worst Actually, thing scary. that could happen? Now, there's a ton of different avenues this one particular statement can go in. First and foremost, I'm very curious to understand what sort of value this harlot thinks her nudes hold. All right, because anybody who has half a brain can just go to Google right now, type in Kazumi Squirt's nudes and see it for free without having to exchange any kinds of information. Next up, for those who are already vaccinated already, you know, if you want to go and get yourself a little bit of nudes or whatever, and you just want to, ah, let me cash in on the offer while it's still on the tape. Okay, but I'm pretty sure there's some dumbass out there. Like, yo, I could see her nudes if I get the vaccine. Give me all of the doses right now. I know there's somebody who's going out of their way to get the vaccine in an effort to see this harlot's nudes. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And why is this going to be the form of transaction where she's like, yeah, you know, I'm out here saving lives. No, you're not! Is that something you're passionate about, or do you just want to get picked up in some sort of hashtag cycle? That is so stupid. I truly, <laughs> what? I, everyone should get vaxxed. I don't care about. This. I don't care what anyone like, thinks about that. Like my cheerleaders yeah, over here. Like, mm. Get, get vaxxed, and sure. you'll see my like, wax pussy. What's the worst Actually, thing that could happen? That they won't get vaxxed and die. The fact that Shorty didn't deliver this in a humorous manner, as if her whole statement was coded in jest, in an effort to tell a joke. The fact that her entire demeanor had changed into incredible seriousness. As if she was saying something profound to say, wait, you're not getting vaccinated. Well, guess what? You're not going to see my waxed pussy. Who cares? And to make matters worse, the fact that it's not actually shaved right now means that you would go out of your way to now shave it to show people. So you showing hairy pussy on OnlyFans? There's a niche for that. But you mean to tell me, hey, guess what? I'm willing to shave if you get vaccinated like what kind of pitch is this do not fuck a guy because he wasn't vaccinated is this that, the new reality that we live in i mean i wouldn't fuck a guy with no test results so i probably yeah. wouldn't like <laughs> hang out with a homie yeah. that wasn't vaxxed it's well it's like, yeah you if know, you have to get std tested that's true you could get yeah COVID it's tested like, at the we same should time. always right. like show our vax card and, and nudie card. did all 36 of those gentlemen have their cards on them this then pre-covid pre oh okay yeah. i'm sorry so i know the timeline was a wild woman and i can't speak for the past okay <laughs> So let me get this straight. This is the exact same harlot that was sleeping with 50 dudes a night. The exact same harlot that was hosting and attending gangbang parties. But she never took her health seriously. She never had that light bulb go off in her noggin up until the coronavirus, up until COVID-19, up until a nationwide, global-wide pandemic. That's when you started to take your health seriously. I'd love to see how things went down before everything transpired. She talking about, well, you know, I wouldn't sleep with anybody who doesn't have their test results. So make sure you have your vaccination status. So what we're happening at these gangbang parties, because I'm pretty sure you ain't just put it on hold once Corona started. I'd highly doubt that. What was the code word when all 50 dudes showed up to the gate? Vaccination. Oh, let them in, honey. How did this work? Did they have a QR code on their appendage to showcase their damn status? Because clearly there's no way in hell that you made sure and ensured that every single individual happened to be, whether vaccinated or they were clean, on their damn bill of health. How you going now try to turn around and be the voice of reason? Haul it if you don't shut your mouth. How has your life changed since we last had you on the show? Because you had like 60,000 followers, I think, at that time, and now you have like 300,000. Dudes, we got to do better, dog. You got to be kidding me. Shorty getting gangbang parties ran through. Look at her Instagram right now. Before this clip even went viral, I guarantee you, she was probably at like 20K, 30K. She done ballooned up to 78.4. I'm telling you right now, by the end of the summer, hell, by the end of July, Shorty might just cross 100K followers on IG. 
I actually hadn't figured out how to accept everybody until a few weeks ago, which is why I just blew up because I finally just accepted everyone into my mm -hmm. Instagram. I did notice that it went up really quickly and I, I was, was thinking like, that maybe oh, you bought some, but everyone okay. Everyone was waiting. I was Stupid idiots. She's straight from the Philippines, yeah. so she wanted to be a nun. She was a what? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Wow. So her yeah, ultimate fantasy mm. was to be in a nun orgy, which is what we did yesterday. Yeah, there you go. Which is why we had a nun squirt bukkake. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. I literally squirted on like a girl. It was like, like it was projectile. So, like yeah, a... it was like. <laughs> See, I have never been this disgusted in my entire life. I don't we know, had like eight I people on that, so. This, you have to watch it. No, sir. Not me. Yeah, but, like, you, you just have to wait. We all on squirted on this week. woman's body while she was screaming. It was like it was like it was The Exorcist, except some, with squirt. I don't know. You nasty. I would fuck most things. Nasty bitch. You know, most most things. things. I was telling Danny, I'm a yes girl. Why? Thank you for sharing with the class. What a shocking realization. I I had no clue that I could have never seen this coming. She'll fuck most things. Well, I'll be damned. It sounds like you only uh, sleep with African American gentlemen. Man. This some more bullshit. Um, so I actually have- It's fucked, her forte. I've actually fucked white guys, but I have um, been celibate often. I'm born again virgin with white guys. Technically, with my new body, no white guys. That's... Hold on, that's how it works? You need surgery to become born again, to become a new person, to renounce your past sexual exploits, and then become a newborn version? Here I was thinking baptisms. Here I was thinking you had to go into a goddamn pool of water. John the Baptist, Jesus is going in. But oh no, you get a little bit of surgery. Now all of a sudden I can erase whatever happened in my past. Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Where's my bat? Oh, you had your pussy replaced as well. Yeah. Um, no, but like <laughs> the hymen was reconstructed. So. It was actually yeah, a beautiful work of science. I was gonna say so, white guys, if anyone says so, I didn't. The logic that is on display here, please, lady, do not ever reproduce. If this lady turns up pregnant at any point in her life, that needs to be categorized as a capital offense, and there needs to be an execution expeditiously by firing squad bayonets. Stab her body while you do it, and then hang her. There's no reason why this lady should be able to reproduce. Oh Getting my out god, there. can I tell you guys about our first gangbang? Oh no, not this again. But, so we were yeah. partying in Vegas, right? Yeah. And this guy comes up to us and a bunch of our girlfriends and are like, Hey, you wanna do a gangbang? Duh. I'm just like, yes, 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 it's like my fantasy. Yes. <gasps> Liar! I do not believe you. You mean to tell me a random dude walked up on you and your girls in Vegas and said, yo, uh, <laughs> y'all trying to have a gangbang? And y'all was like, of course. Oh my God. I was waiting all night for this. I don't believe you. What do the urban youth say now? That is cap. All kinds of cap available at chiseledonnashop.com. But that's a cap right there. You lying motherfucker. You. That's all it takes. Somebody just ask, hey, would you like to be in a gangbang? And you're like, I've been waiting for this. What? Wait a minute. <sighs> they came up to you in Vegas. What, on the strip? No, we were at the Cosmopolitan. Yeah. Were something. you in a club or yeah. were yeah, you we're, at a yeah, blackjack we're, table? What were you doing here? We were just being hot girls. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we were being, we were we were being Asian. Club, yeah. I guess it was a white guy. Okay. Uh, to, for the details. And I assume he had a suit on, looked like he wasn't. He looked like Santa yeah. Claus. He, he was like, like an older guy. white man. <laughs> Yeah. Like a little chunky. <laughs> so discount, clearance out, great value, holiday sale, Santa Claus walks into the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas, Nevada. Walks over to y'all. Y'all, all y'all all girls just dancing. Fat motherfucker him. Walk in, talking about, yo, y'all trying to have a gangbang. And y'all like, say less. Let's go to his room. It's confirmed. Y'all truly will fuck anything. I thought before, you know, they could possibly be, you know, a goddamn cornucopia of diseases on the right side of the screen. But I'm pretty sure all of the Inanimate objects are now infected. That chair, it's got an STD. All right, I'm pretty sure they had COVID before COVID was even a thing. You stink. Let me just get that out the way. 
You stink. She probably got STDs and diseases that haven't even been discovered yet. Magic Johnson's immune system can't even battle no shit like this. And anyways, we go up to his room. It's like eight of his girls. And we're like, wait, how are we going to gangbang you? And he we was like, one guy in room, so. put on the strap on. And we obliterated his old man's booty hole, bro. Like oh my God, no. Hell no. I beg your pardon. Ah, what they doing in the house? That's nasty. Six hours. It was just of crazy. Six hours just of like, like this, please uh, give it. So my white guy, her gangbang. This is the epitome of saying what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Because this man was on a mission. You mean to tell me discount clearance aisle, great value holiday sale Santa Claus then decided to show up to the Cosmopolitan Hotel. Had a whole goddamn Fifty Shades of Grey playroom in one of the suites upstairs with all kind of toys and said, I'm on a mission to find Asians to fuck me up the booty cheeks. This some nasty shit, dog. He was committed, committed. He told the Lord when he woke up that morning, God said, welcome to today. He said, I'm getting fucked today and decided to go and find these harlots and we're like, we oblige. This is a weird ass story, bro. I'm tired of seeing podcasts like this. Why do y'all keep sending me these clips? He had me fuck him missionary style in the ass. <sighs> Vomit. We were I don't know. Just strap on deep fucking this old man's little booty hole. Yeah. Well, it became a big- I mean, he loved it though, <laughs> it became so. a big booty hole. How after. big was the strap on? Um, well, we all had our own yeah. types. He had like a little, like, um, little salsable or like little- He had an armory. Dildo. You know, and we all just yeah. like. And he came with the props. He came with the props. He knew what he, he wanted. He knew, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he wanted an eight Asian girl gangbang. And you're how much money right you up for this. Dude, it was for the thrill of it all. Just liar. You didn't get paid? No, I mean. Like, Six I mean, hours of like, your time? What? You probably oh, had something else planned for this, that day, right? This guy's never been to a gangbang because everyone knows that I'm only in there for like two minutes <laughs> yeah, and then it I was vibe pretty... and then like I go back in there and then, you know, until yeah. he's just. Five. Y'all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucked the dude continuously on repeat for six hours for free this gotta be a crime in 49 states i don't think you could do this anywhere outside of nevada make matters worse i don't think you could do this in any city outside of las vegas six hours how much lubricant did he have in the room how did he not eat for a month what happened was we were with a big crew of people, right? So we had a bunch of guy friends. Obviously, they didn't want us to just go alone and see if this guy was a fucking weirdo. Yeah. So it was just, they just sat there while we like started pegging this dude. Your and homies. Was, yeah, the bunch of dudes. That whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all had spectators? Your homies sat there and watched y'all do the eight trigrams dildo strap on rotation on this man. And they stood there watching the entire time, critiquing and providing reviews on how to increase performance. What part of the game is this? These the nastiest motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. Every single one of her friends nasty, bro. Who are these people so I can block them in real life? Become the Kembe Naptumbo. I see you walking down the street. The whole street need to be lifted, bruh. How they gonna spectate a six hour strap on gang bang? I don't even know how to process this information. How do I even process this information? I am disturbed, perplexed, flummoxed, flabbergasted, bewildered, confused. What the fuck is going on? I don't know! And eventually, a bunch of them were like, let's just party in the hotel room. Oh just while these girls just run a train oh, and yeah. go. So, yeah, they were just it was vibing, a crazy room for smoking, sure, but... just hanging out, like, telling secrets, feelings. And we yeah. were just, Secret we're just like, <laughs> secrets, feelings, and we were just working out our differences with this yeah. white guy. They began to have a party while you were fucking this man? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. We did fun. a human centipede yesterday. Yeah. Sorry, I blurted it out and I didn't know how to segue. No, that's good. I beg your pardon. We had another girl on the also podcast the other day who told us that I think you and her and 12 other girls did a like a, a, uh, an ass-eating train. Oh, yeah, yeah we did what that. What was her name? What?
Oh no, I've heard enough. I don't even know how to process this information. So I can't even put together a soliloquy to send you on your way and end this video. Only thing I can do is hope these ladies are eviscerated from the planet. I gotta call my friend to send them to the Shadow Realm. Chris, here comes the United States Champion, Chris Benoit. That bitch off. That's why the streets love her so much. I think so. The yeah. streets love you guys. And you belong to the streets. She belongs to the streets. Finish her. No! Stupid bitch.